Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope that you guys are doing really wonderful. And so I'm here with the latest on that recently marked disturbance, that tropical wave off Africa, which could eventually develop and be a problem for the Caribbean down the road. And so I will be showing you guys the latest in terms of the models as well as uh, the conditions out there to see what the possible outcome with this system could be uh, based on what is available now. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so first things first, uh, we will be starting out uh, with the disturbance after which uh, we will go on to what is currently happening across some uh, parts of the Caribbean. So we're starting out with what the National Hurricane Center is showing. So we're seeing here that there is a 20% chance of development and this is a new system. So we were not expecting that the chance would be very high when it would be marked uh, and it is marked now as of this morning actually. So uh, the reason you're seeing that arrow as well is because imminent development is unlikely due to the dry air so where we find a lot of dry air uh, if you're hearing some rumbling in the background that's actually thunder there's a thunderstorm developing nearby so uh, what happens is that once that dry air infiltrates the system it actually helps to suppress those showers and thunderstorms and that is essential uh, in order to have tropical cyclone development so uh, imminent development is unlikely however as it trots toward the west even more and enters that shaded region that is where conditions could be more conducive to allow for some development and eventually we could see something become of this maybe a depression or even a tropical storm and the next name on the list for this season is emily so uh if it develops that would be the sixth storm of the season five named storms and uh, there was an unnamed storm back in mid january so in all there would be six storms so uh potential caribbean threat here will continue to keep an eye on it for you guys but now we want to go ahead and take a look at what the models are expecting and so uh, we're starting out with the euro model and we're looking for those black lines they're called isobars they join areas of equal pressure and when we see them in a circular manner and we see that l that red l that is indicating that low pressure area and uh when the isobars are getting more compact and when we see a lot of them as well as that value we're seeing getting less and less that is indicating a stronger system and so there we have the forecast time so as we're going to be heading out uh into the next couple of days there we have that tropical wave and uh, eventually it is going to be uh, making its approach to the Caribbean. We're seeing that Euro does not show a defined system, just that cluster of activity. By the way, those colors are indicating the precipitation rate. So that cluster of showers and thunderstorms are likely a strong tropical wave uh, expected by Euro here. And then as we go on to the GFS model now, it is certainly showing that we will be seeing some development, but the system is evidently struggling out there again. All that dry air and dust in association with the Saharan earlier uh, will be a problem for the system. So GFS not expecting anything too strong. And then as it makes its way into the Caribbean, we see it rapidly diminish uh, because the wind shear is going to kick up. Uh, at least that is what is expected as of right now. So something similar to what happened with Brett here, uh, very similar to what happened with Brett. However, we're talking about something that is sometime in the future and there can be many uh, there are many possible outcomes right now with this so this isn't something solid at all although it seems very much possible and so let's now go on to the icon model what is icon expecting so uh, icon is actually now starting to expect development it wasn't uh, showing anything before but now we gradually see the system getting together again not uh, immediately because of the dry air but as it heads closer and closer to the Caribbean we see it start to get itself together and it starts to take on a west northwestward trap moving across the Leeward Islands Puerto Rico Hispaniola and notice that it's it, uh, it's seemingly intensifying going into the vicinity of the Bahamas and if it should head there that could actually be very concerning let me show you why so we're looking at the sea surface temperature map here and where we have more of these shades of reds go into that pink shade that is indicating temperatures of around uh, 20 29 going to 30, 31, even 32 degrees Celsius in some spots. Now, this general area is anomalously warm. It is above average uh, right now in terms of the sea surface temperatures. And as such, uh, it is likely that it will fuel any cyclone that moves in the area, provided other conditions, such as the wind shear uh, is conducive and there is lots of moisture, meaning that there isn't a whole lot of dry air around. So a moist environment with uh, those weaker upper level winds would be favorable to allow for some crazy intensification.
gamification and also uh, land interaction. If we're talking about a system that is interacting too much with land, that helps to limit intensification as well. But these small islands, uh, they don't have that much of an impact. And so this wave should actually make its way into the area with those other conditions being conducive there is going to be a lot of trouble for the U.S. And so this is not a fearmonger in any way, shape, or form. It is one of the many possibilities. So it is not something solid. Similar with what we saw earlier with GFS uh, and Euro, it is not solid. It is what is expected now. And uh, we just have to wait and see what's going to be happening uh, because this is pretty far out. But what we should do, as I reiterated in previous updates, is to ensure that we are prepared because we are in the season and it will come continue to get more and more active as we head to the peak so this is a hot spot uh, if we have anything moving here we can see rapid intensification but hopefully that will not be the case with this as i said it is one of the many possible scenarios but nevertheless we should ensure that we have plans in place for the hurricane season as we are progressing into the more active months and so uh, now guys we want to go ahead and take a look at what is happening across the region so that is it for this uh, disturbance here so going down to the vicinity of the Caribbean and surrounding areas and we are starting out with northern South America and here we can see that there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity across Venezuela also in the vicinity of Trinidad uh, and even in some spots in Guyana as well so there is some thunderstorm activity for some spots this evening uh, passing clouds for the ABC islands maybe with a brief shower or so let me know what's going on there as we head further up looking to where we can see the windward islands there is a bit of activity noted in the area as well but it should be mostly sunny now uh, maybe with passing clouds at some times uh, at times and as we look further up into the region we see that things get a lot messier there is some activity in the eastern caribbean sea also over in uh, some parts of hispaniola especially the dominican republic things are a bit clearer over in the rest of the lesser antilles uh, some cloud cover across some parts of puerto rico the virgin islands as we head to jamaica there is some thunderstorm activity develop uh, developing for some areas this afternoon uh, and a similar surface for Cuba as well. There is a tropical wave over there that is going to be making its way into the eastern Pacific. So that is helping to enhance all the activity we see over in the west, all those showers and thunderstorms, especially near the Caribbean coast of the Central American territories. Also a bit of activity near Grand Cayman. And there is also some activity up in parts of Florida as well as the northwestern Bahamas, especially close to Andrews Island. But uh, that is actually uh, slowly dissipating right now, that little blob in there. And those white dots, they indicate the lightning strikes so definitely a lot of thunderstorms uh were present there and so that is what i wanted to share with you guys in this update and i hope that you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond once i get the chance and as always remember to be weatherwise